Hi friends, Robert here for Diverse Opals. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to be looking at some boulder. And this is a piece that was started um, for some stock that we were cutting up. And uh, we thought, well, there's some interesting colour here. Um, it shows a lot of interesting pattern. And we thought, what better than to share it with our viewers? So um, we've We've removed a fair amount of, uh, well, we've removed some of the ironstone, but we still have ironstone here, these dark patches here. This is actually sitting on, on top of the opal. And so what we need to do is to actually take this all off to expose the opal here underneath. So that will be our first stage. And what we'll do is we will commence with a, a coarse scented burr. Uh, this is actually a super coarse scented burr and um, this will actually help us speed up this process of getting this done. Um, as usual, I'm working dry on, uh, um, and I'm using a mask. So um, if, you're doing, if you're doing this and uh, the same, I would recommend, highly recommend that you get yourself a mask or some sort of extraction equipment. So just let me dry this off a little bit because if I don't, it's going to get a little bit muddy. Right, we finished with the um, um, coarse, super coarse grade of scented diamond burr, and uh, we can see now um, we've actually gone through in some areas, or there's still some here, some uh, ironstone that uh, probably is too risky to try and take out. We may end up going through and making a bigger mess of it, uh, and end up with bigger areas like this. This is obviously just to break away from. Uh, the section that broke off off, off of this side um, and there's little spots here little spots of dirt that uh, may come out through the next stages so we don't want to go too deep with our coarse grade uh, because still uh, material will come off the surface and yes in the end we might still have some little spots but that's the nature of boulder opal so what we'll do now is we're going to change the um, um, super coarse to a fine. Now this is a sintered diamond burr and um, uh, they're not particularly easy to get this particular grade. I'm assuming that this is around about a five to six hundred grit. Uh, I was able to pick this up through a friend but um, trying to get access to them is not particularly easy. So uh, wherever you are in the world if you are able to access uh, this type of burr I suggest you get one because it's going to help through the next stage and take you all the way through to the end. So It's actually showing some quite nice promise, this piece. Uh, there's, some, there's some reasonable colour in this. I want to now use a coarse uh, rubber burr. This is silicon carbide rubber. And uh, although we have these uh, listed uh, in the description below our video, we also have a smaller one, which actually has a finer point, which in this situation may help get us into the grooves that we actually want to access. Um, so we're going to put this in as an addition in the description uh, because it hasn't been in there in the past but um, for those of you that are interested you'll be able to find these items. So what we're going to do is to help lubricate the surface we're going to use some uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly um, this we've found actually is a good lubricant and to help 
uh, in a smoothing out of the surface of the actual opal. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just put some of this onto the surface of the stone and uh, get started with the next stage. I was intending to use both burrs, uh, both uh, rubberized abrasives, but um, I was fortunate enough to get uh, full usage out of this. Now, as you can see, I've gone through the tip, but the tip was useful for being able to get into these very fine little dips, um, into the fine cr crevasses, and I was able to concentrate on the rest of the stone because it's relatively flat with the actual lower section of the burr. So we've finished now with our coarse grade and what we'll do now is to commence with our uh, medium grade. Starting out with the, while the tip is fresh because the tip will wear in, in due course, start out by getting into the uh, deeper parts if you can. Uh, because the shape has changed now we perhaps don't need a sharp pointy burr. We've uh, finished with our medium grade and uh, under some circumstances I'll use a fine grade. Not very often, um, it's not really a, a grade that I need to use but for those of you who perhaps have a greater areas of ironstone uh, on, your, on your actual opal and perhaps there's more ironstone than opal, that's when a fine burr is going to come into its own because they're actually very good for polishing um, just the ironstone itself. So um, if you're actually looking at, at purchasing some of these, you don't really need this, okay? You don't need this uh, fine. Medium is, is sufficient. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to give this a good cleaning now because the next stage that we'll be doing, I want to start with a fairly clean surface. I don't want to be having... I don't want to be contributing or, or putting any um, coarser particles of grain that are going to be continually dragged backwards and forwards on the surface, slowing down our polishing stage. Okay, we're going to go to our, 50, uh, sorry, our 1200 diamond paste now. Uh, this is a, a reasonable sort of grade to be going to. Um, after the uh, medium, side, medium grade of rubber burr, um, Excuse the chainsaw in the background, uh, a neighbour is obviously cutting something down, a reasonable sort of amount. And just before you start the process of, this is a pre-polished stage, before you start pre-polishing, just go around the surface with your felt. And because the paste is a lubricant in itself, we don't need water. Well, we finished the, um, the top of the stone and uh, we're yet to finish the back and uh, I'm uh, quite happy with the way it's turned out. It was a worthwhile exercise, of course, and it was uh, a pleasure to share that process with you. But this is actually one of some other stones. It's actually one uh, uh, of some others. It has brothers and sisters that all came from the same uh, pocket. Uh, in fact, they're all from the same piece. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to finish the backs and in one of our shorts we will show the items, the stones, the boulder as finished pieces. Thank you for watching. I'm Robert for Diverse Opals.